and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. Today, I'm going to do something that I kind of said I'd do a week ago in the Lamar Jackson gameplay. I'm going to be going over the all-time Ravens Steam Team Squad Builder. Now, this is not my account. This is my friend's account, my hometown friend. He's a, I wouldn't say he's a Ravens fan, he's a Lamar Jackson fan, which led him to want a Ravens team team, but he has a really juiced all-time Ravens team team, and I feel like this would be, this would be cool to have for you guys, you guys can kind of get a look at what an all-time team can look like, specifically with all the chems and stuff that you can only get for a theme team, you can finally get an idea for kind of why theme teams can be sometimes, uh, something that a lot of people get excited to do, because look at that Rob Woodson right there, as you guys can see on the screen, right there. That Rob Woodson's a 98 overall. Now, that's not achievable typically by a regular team standards. That's only achievable on a theme team because they have so many boosts. They make their cards crazy. Now, with a theme team, the only thing you gotta worry about is that you probably will end up in some places, in some places have some weak spots, but you'll be very crazy in some other spots. Kind of the, it's instead of being well-rounded, you're better here and you're worse here, but it's, it's just something that you have to deal with. But some of these cards are super glitchy on the Steam team. And I know for all you Ravens fans out there, all you just subscribers, all you loyal guys, you're probably going to want to see this. You get an idea for everything and kind of what it looks like. Now, guys, before we get into the video, it is the 25 days of Poodmas. Enter is comment down below the secret word and your console. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to like the video. Once you do those three things, you are entered to win the giveaway. I have given away everything up until this date. We're still at 30K. I'm just communicating with two other guys on Twitter right now about... Get them to post it for me and send me pictures. Once we're done with that, everyone will be caught up to date and we're going to keep moving on and hopefully increasing the rewards soon. Now, it's been long enough. Let's get into the lineup. Let's check them out. So they are 91 overall. I'm pretty sure everything here is as good as it can get. Now, there are a few, there's like two out of position players or out of team players like Joe Running or Bruce Matthews. Their backups are their actual counterparts of their real life spa spots, but he has them in. But the thing is, it is very tough to run online with those guys starting there. You still have to have them in, though, but this still achieves 50 out of 50 Ravens no matter what. So it still meets the threshold for the 50 out of 50. But trust me, I personally recommend this on the theme team, too. If you have 50 out of 50 already, toss in some guys that can play positions that fill the spot. Because trust me, it is not going to be easy to compete in weekend league with Orlando Brown Jr. and Bruce Math or no, and Alex Lewis there. Now, starting with the line, we got Ronnie Stanley. Honestly, a pretty solid left tackle, considering he probably has some good theme team boost. Yeah, but I mean, the only thing with theme team boost, they probably want to pack his blocking too much. Matt Burke at center, so that's a solid center. Theme team center is definitely good. Close to all 90 stats around all around the board. Marshall Yonda, you know he'll be getting some upgrades soon. He's Marshall Yonda. So at least the Ravens line isn't looking horrible. They got a good left tackle, good center, and good right guard. They could use another guy there, but for the time being, that's not horrible. Now, tight ends for the Ravens are pretty stacked. Got Mark Andrews, Dallas Clark, Shannon Sharp. So I think the Ravens would have the best well-rounded tight end group when it comes to theme teams he's at 88 speed at tight end that's crazy for right now 91 catching great catching stats decent route running stats decent strength all around the board really good tight end now dallas clark let's let's watch let's look at them individually because if we do them one by one we can't see their boost so dallas clark 89 speed 96 catching 96 catching traffic 92 spec catch 93 short route running why is he not starting dallas clark this dallas clark card looks insane wow what's shannon sharp looking like He's probably looking really fast too. 89 speed. Wow. Okay. So if I was him, I'd probably start all three tight ends at wide receiver. They look a hell of a lot better than their wide receivers. Now coming over to their actual first wide receiver, which isn't really much of a wide receiver. He's a gadget player. Devin Hester with 99 speed, 92 jumping. The catching stats are ass 87 deep route running. But all you got to worry about is that 97, the 99 speed, the 97 agility and the 99 acceleration. This card it's crazy. He's unreal, guys. This is the this is the beauty of a theme team, right? Devin Hester can be maxed out with speed and excel on a theme team. Otherwise, he could not have been. Now, Seth Roberts, not gonna really go for him, guys. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? On a theme team, no other wide receivers to fill there. Although he probably could fill someone in there, but I don't. There's probably not many better options. Willie Sneed, Miles Boykin at running back. He's got Mark Ingram, and it's not as bad as you might think. Flashback Mark Ingram is not horrible. And I believe you can get him up to his team of the week card. He does have a team of the week card, right? But can, can he get filled in yet? I'm not entirely sure. Just click on him real quick. Mark Ingram is honestly not a bad option because he can actually get a few good abilities that other guys can't get. He is able to get Bruiser and Jukebox. 
most cards can't get both of those so the fact that he can get both makes him a pretty good running option i know he cannot get his team of the week card is not included just yet but the fact that you can get bruiser and jukebox is a huge bonus I'm, i've been played with him a few times on this account and trust me he feels a little glitchy at times a little bit on the slower side 90 speed isn't horrible but i'm used to barry sanders already but with this if you can once you can get his team of the week card mark ingram's gonna be a pretty good on a theme team and he's got lamar jackson guys lamar jackson come on on a theme team 97 speed at quarterback do you guys understand what that is 97 speed at quarterback with max go deep he's got 91 throw power 93 short accuracy 86 medium accuracy 89 deep accuracy 8 96 throw under pressure 95 throw on the run 94 94 play action he's got 98 acceleration 91 throw power we saw that 92 jumping and his spin and juke is a 97 and a 90 Lamar Jackson, the theme team, is probably the craziest quarterback in Madden. He did pick up Kyle Juszczyk, or however you say his name. Wow, 95 overall fullback. I mean, the stats don't even look crazy on this on this juice because the, I guess the stats that get improved from the theme team aspect of it isn't exactly going to impact the fullback too much. Still really good. And then he has Marquise Brown, the rookie premier Marquise. He does have 98 speed. Wow. He's got some speed on this team. His quarterback, his wide receiver one and wide receiver two all have 98 or 97 or above speed. Pretty crazy offense right there. With the right playbook, probably plays pretty insane. Now, guys, the beauty of this team goes beyond the offense. They have the greatest secondary probably in Madden. Starting with Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas has a 91 speed, a 93 excel, 80 tackle, 96 play rec, 97 zone, 83 man. Way better looking on a theme team. This Earl Thomas is pretty insane. The word for today's video is jolly. All you gotta do down below is comment jolly, your console, subscribe to the channel, and like the video. Once you do those things, you are entered to win the giveaway. Good luck. And then we come over to the other side of strong safety. We got Ed Reed. Ed Reed has 98 speed, 98 excel. Imagine having strong safety like Ed Reed that can cover every side of the field with that kind of speed. 94 play rec, 87 pursuit, 85 man, 96 zone, 89 hit power. This card's crazy. This card's unreal. That speed, Ed Reed's going to be a monster. Definitely outplays Pat Tomo on the theme team. Then he's got, let's actually come up to cornerback. He's got Deion Sanders at cornerback one. Deion. 99 speed, 99 excel, 97 agility, 95 jumping. I have never seen more beautiful stats on the athleticism spot. 93 play rec, 97 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, and 82 press. He's almost maxed out everywhere. This card's unreal. I, that, that's glitchy as hell. Rod Woodson on the other side that just came out. He's definitely loving the fact that NFL 100 dropped a bunch of Ravens players. 97 speed, 98 excel, 96 agility, 93 jumping, 93 play rec, 95 man coverage, 93 zone coverage, and 88 press. Can you imagine that? You look to your left, Deion Sanders, you look at the matchups, and you have a, they have a plus 7 speed on you. You look at the right side, they have a plus 7 speed on you. Like, what do you do? What can you actually do? 98 acceleration. These cards are just crazy. These two cornerbacks are here. 89 juke 84 spin it keeps going and i'm pretty i'm pretty sure he has hit power too 77 hit power which is decent guys this ravens theme team is probably the best theme team in madden as of now looking really crazy marlon humphrey 94 overall again their third option their worst cornerback option is a 96 speed 97 excel and then going on down he has 91 90 man 85 zone 90 press he can man up the everyone he can man up anyone in the game Marlon Humphrey, Deion, and Rob Woodson, he could blitz the whole game, and he, Ed Reed and all these guys will man them up, and they will not let them go. That is crazy. Now, let's go up to the front seven, starting at the linebacker spots. He's got Ferna, uh, Pernell McPhee at right outside linebacker. I'm going to be honest, he's the one weak spot of the Ravens defense. I played with this on the on my Ravens gameplay, and Pernell McPhee was very slow. 76 speed, 90 strength, really ass. The card is not great at all. I do not recommend him at all, but you got to do what you got to do when it comes to having a theme team. Now, Ray Lewis on a Ravens theme team, probably insane. 92 speed 92 excel makes him one of the best user linebackers in the game 95 tackle 95 play rec 90 block shot 93 hit power and 71 zone coverage next cj mosley probably not the fastest but the theme team should get him up 87 speed 91 excel 74 strength 95 tackle 96 play rec 76 block shot 89 hit power 77 zone um the only issue with his linebackers in my opinion is that you don't have a user you don't have a zone one i like to always have one zone one user like i have shazier for the zone and then i use ray lewis Having them both at camp zone is going to hurt him a little bit in the mid-read game. Now, Matthew Jujan, pretty good. 84 speed, 90 excel, 86 strength, 90 tackle, 87 play rec, 65 block shed, 89 power. So he can pass rush. He can decently do a few things. But let's see what his zone is. His zone is what's going to determine whether or not this card is good. If he has a good zone, this card's solid. If he does not, this card's a bust. Zone 75, okay, I think it's a bust. I really don't like this card at all then. Because if he can only decently pass rush, but he can't zone, he can't do much else. Not really a fan. Now coming over to the pass rush, 
the pass rush is kind of where they struggle a little bit, which is weird, right? You think they'd have better options there. Maybe they just haven't released all of them yet. Terrell Sugg is a decent pass rush option considering he is out of position, but I believe he did. I hope he put the out of position thing on him. But let's see, compare. Let's see what he's got. He's got 76 speed, that's really low. 82 excel is decent. 85 strength is decent. 85 tactical is decent. 91 play rack is good. 80 block shed and 86 power move. Yeah, he can't really pass rush. He can't really run stuff. Terrell Suggs is not the best. That's probably the one thing the Ravenstein team is missing is upfront pressure. But you can man blitz him a lot, which will counteract their... They probably won't get a lot of natural pressure. I'll say that myself. They won't get a lot of pressure up the middle. But you can man blitz and send five against five against five or six against five because your cornerbacks are good enough to hold them up with speed and man they will not get burnt so that is kind of the beauty of the theme team at least that the other guys are good enough to hold the slack of these guys michael pierce is 73 speed 87 excel 94 strength 82 tackle 92 play rick 88 block shed and 88 power move. so he cannot he cannot pass rush he can he can't stop the run he's a great run stuffer but that's about it lauren's guy that suit is looking like decent speed decent excel decent play rec can't really run stuff can run stuff decently and can't pass rush so from what i'm getting is that he can't pass rush at all on this team no one here can pass rush and then 56 speed wow that is really just, that is really so 76 acceleration 91 strength 80 tackle 92 play rec 90 block shed 68 power move so this front seven is going to be a great 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 run stuffing front seven and the only guy that can decently pass rush is i believe matthew judon so that is the weakness of the Ravens team team. Other than that, everything is solid. Now let's head over to special teams. So far, this team is looking godly. You got a good punter, Sam Koch, and you got Justin Tucker, one of the best kickers in the league. So special teams are still going to be okay. And you got Devin Hester returning the ball. Devin Hester with human joystick and all those other things that he can get. Going to be unreal. I want to see what he has on him, actually. He has human joystick, spin cycle, and return man. Now, I don't think he needs return man. I think return man is the same thing as human joystick. So you probably want to put like... I'd say jukebox on him or maybe leapfrog if you're feeling risky, but he fumbles too much. I would not recommend that. And then he has protective custody. Now, I don't know how you exactly lose this, but if you can hold on to that all game, that is huge because he has a fumbling problem. I can show you guys that from my gameplay. But other than that, everything's looking solid. And then you got specialist. He has Mark Ingram as a third down running back. He's got Devin Hester as a slot receiver, slot cornerbacks, Rob Woodson. Team strategy, got John Harbaugh coach with balanced offense on it. Ravens with balanced offense on it. Ravens dark uniform, balanced offense on it. Home stadium, balanced offense on it. He's got the Saints playbook, the Steelers defense. That's irrelevant to the actual theme team. And then he likes to put the color rush Ravens over the actual Ravens jerseys. So as a whole, Ravens bounce still 40 out of 40. Baltimore Ravens 50 out of 50. Go deep 35 out of 30. Lockdown 40 out of 30. Sprinter, he's getting there. Guys, once he gets Sprinter done, Lamar Jackson will have a 98 speed. Deion Sanders, 99. Rob Woodson, 99. It's going to be crazy what this team's going to get to. Guys, in my opinion, recap, I think this team's like a 9 out of 10. It had me contemplating making this my real team while making this video. Team's definitely solid 9 out of 10. The only thing that can make it better is when you can finally upgrade Mark Ingram and you can get better pass rushers. Other than that, this team is solid as hell. I advise all of you guys who are looking to do what, what theme team to do, make a Ravens theme team. It's a no-brainer. By far the greatest theme team in Madden, in my opinion. I don't think 49ers or Cowboys even match up. As we get later into the year, there will be better theme teams that come along. But for the time being, I think Ravens are far and ahead the best options for theme teams. And it's they drop Ravens cards every single promo. And even if they do catch up at some point, these cards are already almost all maxed out with 99 overall speed and stuff. So it's not like you're really going to have to make a change. You're going to feel pretty far ahead to begin with. Guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. This was the all-time Ravens theme team. I think it's the best theme team in the game. Hope you guys enjoy this. You're probably watching this a month from now, two months from now, because this video typically tends to be pushed to Ravens guys for quite a few months. So you're seeing this months later, guys. It's like a time capsule. I'm here three months earlier. But guys, that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to enter the giveaway. To enter the 25 days of Poodmas, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word and your console, and like the video. Once you do those three things, you are entered to win. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.